How's it going, Blazers? This is David with Blade Banter. We're going to talk to um, Gerber here. Now we do have Grant. Uh, we're going to be going through some of the knives available. But first off, we're going to go with an icebreaker question. So uh, 1 through 25. Uh, give me a number there and I'll read your question. 13. Number 13. Uh, so uh, who had the most influence on you growing up? The most influence on me growing up? Um, that's a very good question. I was really into soccer growing up and really into the outdoors. Um, so I watched a lot of English Premier League soccer and was really into Arsenal and followed them through their um, early years and through their successful years. Mm. Uh, trying to get back to there. But <laughs> yeah, definitely, but still a fan. Maybe still a fan, time. yeah. And then for the outdoors, um, obviously with Gerber Bear Grylls was mm. an influential figure for many years and still is a little bit. Um, but I think Bear Grylls and similar people like him that go in the outdoors and have military backgrounds but also like to go out and test their limits. And, and definitely know tools. how to put it to use as far as the tools available. Exactly, yeah. There's Good. something kind of romantic about going out to the woods and seeing whether you can make it or not. Yeah, indeed. And that's kind of driven me and I use it now every day with product design and Gerber. And so now I guess now what are the popular models for you guys right now? Yeah, no, what the flat models? iron. Flat iron. The flat iron and the kettlebell are our most recent EDC everyday carry knives. Uh, the flat iron probably being the show uh, EDC awards. We'll, we'll find out at one o'clock today. It's being entered. Oh, so very good. Yes, yeah, so good luck crossed. on that. Thank you. And then, um, so the kettlebell also. So the kettlebell too. Yeah, two different sizes, a little bit style difference. Um, I think the flat iron has been as successful as it is because it just is a very different knife than we've ever done before. Mm -hmm. uh, the cleaver knife is kind of growing popularity. Uh, the straight edge on it makes it a little bit easier to resharpen. And I think more than anything else, it just looks cool. You pull it out of your pocket, flip it open. You've got a knife that opens packaging equally as any other everyday carry knife but kind of makes a statement something that you're willing to think outside of the box yeah a little different than a regular you know, drop point plate or something like that exactly okay and then what else do you guys have coming out that's kind of exciting for the brand as well i think one of our most exciting uh, is our empower series uh, these came out as a continuation of the design tactics that went into the propel auto and we made these for usa made s30 blade we're trying to make it for a little bit more of an appro approachable price point. Okay. Three different colors here. Um, all of these are S30 fee blades made in Tigard, Oregon oh, at our manufacturing facility. Uh, fully auto knives, safety lock, nice confident open, everyday carry design, and we have a LaFrance insert for not only for looks, but has a nice texture to it. All of these have 3D uh, texturing on them to help give extra grip because a lot of anodized handles can get a little slippery, yeah, a little slippery yeah. and for the amount of power that this opens that all of these open with you really want a nice yeah and definitely texture. you need a confident grip on that thing exactly. it flies out of your hand yeah so we're really happy with these i think they launched a few months ago good and so i guess as far as a personal note as far as yourself uh, what is the first knife that you remember having I had a Gerber and I had a knife that I don't remember the branding on, folding knives. Uh, I think it was about a three inch blade and I just beat the hell out of it and yeah. had it for like eight years and I think I was most proud of how many dings I got in it. Yeah, so the more dings I could get. <laughs> yeah, it did, it, it did its job it. then. I mean, it was a really a good you know, tool for you. Exactly. Good. Yeah, I, I had that memory growing up, back to the survival thing. I, mm. I was just in my backyard, but I felt like I was surviving back yeah. there because yeah. I had a good tool. Awesome. So, no, I do appreciate the time and thank you very much.